Okay, so today we're going to do uh, a tutorial on how to draw a paper bag, man. I know everybody's dying to do this, so um, yeah, we're going to draw a bag man together. So first, go ahead and do uh, create a new image under file. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit taller than uh, than uh, it is than the picture is wide because I want it to look like a poster, right? So you can see it's a little bit wider than it is long. Um, uh, it's black. I don't really want a black background even just for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a bucket fill and fill it up as white. Um, so that's kind of our, our background. Uh, I don't even really draw on the background. I, I like to go ahead and make a new layer right off the bat and make it a transparency. That way, this is going to be where you really start to draw kind of the bag el bagman elements um, and then fit them together. So go ahead and do a transparency. Make sure that layer is selected. So the first thing you want to do is to draw a body for bagman, right? So it's basically a big block. Um, so just go ahead and use your rectangle tool, that's this one up here, to go ahead and do uh, a block right in the middle of the screen. Then go back to paintbrush, paintbrush on your uh, toolkit, um, and then you just make it black and make it as big as possible. And you can go ahead and paint that block in. And now you've got this big black block right in the center uh, of your poster. Um, so now, now that you have this, you kind of have to make the little edges around the bottom of the bag man right so there's if you have a paper bag down at the bottom it's got those kind of toothy looking edges so what you're going to do is you're going to go come over here to your paths tool i'll put this over here um and you want to use your paths tool to go ahead and, and you're going to start a little bit above the bottom just this is kind of my lazy fix um and you're going to just make uh that that bottom that toothy bottom and I just do it by hand. I actually think it looks better by hand so that, you know, it's not super symmetrical. It's just kind of hand-drawn looking almost. Um, and I prefer that. So uh, that's what we'll be doing today. I'll do a little one at the over at the edge here. And then we'll go ahead and link it up inside. And then we'll go ahead and connect it. And then come over here to, to select. And then ju just come down to select from path. So now you have this kind of strange comb shaped object that's selected and you can go back to your paintbrush tool and you can just paint it paint it in right so now that's black uh, you can see that it doesn't quite come over uh, to over to all the way to the left and all the way to the right so if you want to you can always uh, you know change the size of it you can drag it a little bit to make it match up uh, I'm not going to be too worried about this kind of stuff today just because I, I want to focus on not the final product but on just getting you to the point where you can draw a bag man. So, um, and then once you've drawn that, go ahead and make that a new layer. You'll get this floating section prompt over in your right. And so go ahead and make that a new layer. So you've got these two new layers. Well, this one still isn't over far enough. So I'll just do a little bit of tweaking. Um, all right. So now you've got basically your bag shape, right? You've got an, uh, you've got your bag shape. So now you want to make some eyes, right? So let's make a new layer. Make sure that layer is selected. Let's come up to circles. So for circles, you're just going to make a bag man eye, kind of however, whatever size you think it should be. Um, that looks pretty good. And then once you have the circle, go ahead and come back to brush. Make it white this time, and then you got a little white eye. And now this this piece, this uh, oval of the eye is already selected. So just go ahead and copy it and paste it right on top. And then you've got a, a duplicate eye right there that you can move around. I've gone ahead and sorry, I went ahead and went to the move tool, and I went ahead and moved the other eye over so that now I can do put that kind of wherever I want to put it. So again, uh, you're prompted for the new layer. Um, so make sure you go back and select the second layer, the new layer, 
Uh, it's it's labeled new layer in mine, but it's basically the big block of Bagman's body layer. Um, and here you're going to go ahead and draw the mouth. So go ahead and put a white line. I have my toothbrush selected. And uh, I have the color white selected. And I have at, uh, mine's at about 0.84. So we're going to just do a straight line right across. And you hold shift in in order to get that line. Uh, from dot to dot on the on the paintbrush then you just click again and it gives you the mouth and now you've got your bagman uh, drawn and so what you can do is you can go ahead and just merge these layers down just merge them all down just merge them down and then you've got bagman separated from the background and so the background you can mess around with you can change the colors you can do you know like a bright red color um, in the background, you can put all kinds of uh, put all kinds of slogans. Oh, sorry. Uh, here we go. So all kinds of slogans. So you got slogans on a poster. There you go, and then you can center it. There you go. And then you can also put in, you know, a little uh, 2012 underneath. You can do an asterisk, 2012 asterisk. It's still in red, so we'll just change that font to white. There you go. And, uh, you know, put that uh, put that right underneath. And there you go. Now you got a Bagman poster uh, ready to go.